Hi friends, Teacher Kitty here again for tea time. Welcome back. So good to see all of you. And I'm home still just like you. So today I have my tea and my special green tea cup. And this tea is really warm. But today I used a loose tea. Let me show you. I used a loose tea, you can see in here, and I, I put it in this little strainer. You could see the cherries and the coconut. These are dried apples and some pineapple and kiwi. So delicious. So I put it in this little strainer and then I closed the lid and I put it in my teapot and it has hot water. Mmm, I can taste the flavors of the cherry and the, and the apples. So you can see this is what I did. I just plopped it right in there. See that? And so what's happening is the hot water is steeping all the flavors. Yeah, that word is called steeping. And all the flavors are coming out of the fruits and into the hot water and then Usually you have to let it sit for about five minutes. And that's good because then it cools down and then I can just pop it right into my teacup and enjoy my tea with you. So today we're gonna talk about pinwheel sandwiches. Another great recipe that you can help make with your adult person and it's a finger food. Remember we talked about tea time is the time where we're only using our fingers. So let's get started on the story. Here we go. Pinwheel sandwiches. Another name for these are just very simple wraps. So let's, let's see. These are the ingredients that I used and you can really just use anything in your refrigerator. But the main part is to have some kind of tortilla wrap, flour or corn, spinach, roasted red pepper. Mm. Uh, I will let you know that corn tortillas don't wrap very well unless you warm them up in the microwave um, or on your stovetop. That's another way to go about it. But here's an example of some of the things that I had in my refrigerator. Um, I've got some ham and Swiss. I had some pulled pork and some cilantro and limes. I have some red bell pepper and tomato and mango and, and fresh lettuce, fresh greens. Um, I have some feta cheese and some cream cheese. Those are just some of the things. You could use anything, really. If you've got peanut butter and jelly, you could put that in your wrap and roll it right up and have yourself a pinwheel sandwich. All right, so the first thing that I did was I just took a few tortillas out and I spread some cream cheese on. And you can see the knife that I used today is just a regular um, butter knife or a spreading knife and it's safe. But always remember, anytime that you're gonna do any cooking in the kitchen, it's good to have an adult person help you just in case for safety reasons, okay? Let's see. So then I just laid some thinly sliced ham on top of my cream cheese. And I added a little Swiss cheese. I, I broke it into long skinny rectangles. And then I added some fresh lettuce. Got a little spinach in there too. And then I added a little curly Q squiggle of mustard because I like mustard. You don't have to do that if you don't like it. Sometimes friends of mine will use a mayonnaise and mustard and no cream cheese. That's okay too. Sometimes people use no condiments. Also okay. Here's the beauty of pinwheels. You're going to fold it in half and then you got to keep it squished and roll it right up like that. Keep it real tight. Sometimes I like to put a little tiny bit of cream cheese on that little tab. As I'm rolling it over, it helps it to stick together. And then I like to slice my pinwheels at a diagonal, not vertical, not horizontal, 
diagonal like this. And you see, I can I used that same safe butter knife or spreading knife to do it. And that's the great thing. It's so soft that it, it it's effective. And then I put my ham and Swiss pinwheels on a pretty little plate. And now it's ready for me to enjoy at tea time. But that's not all, friends. I actually tried a few different things. So I, I used the corn tortillas here and I warmed them up and I put a little cream cheese on and a little cilantro. And I have a little uh, pulled pork carnitas from Cinco de Mayo that I celebrated. And um, I put them on and I squeezed a little fresh lime. Now, normally I like to just hold these, hold them in half, not roll them up and eat them like a little taco. But I thought, mm, Let's give this a try. Well, there they are. So my experience was that they didn't roll very well, but they tasted delicious. And that's part of the fun of cooking. Sometimes not all of your recipes are gonna go as planned. And that's part of the learning process. And, but I didn't mind that they weren't perfect because they, they, I already, I ate one here. They tasted good. It's because I like the ingredients that were on the inside. I was fine with it. I have one more pinwheel to share with you today. Now, if you remember the first tea time that we had together, I shared a recipe that was cream cheese, lemon, and dill. But I didn't have any lemon, but I just, spread the cream cheese and I just sprinkled a little dill right on top. That's okay. Now this one, I added some red bell peppers and some sliced mango. Now look how beautiful those colors are. And then I added just a little lettuce. And then I rolled it right up. Now see, there's, there's no meat on this, just fruits and vegetables. Rolled it, rolled it. Sliced it at a diagonal again, and popped it on a plate. Do you see all the beautiful colors? I love this one. Mmm, I'm gonna eat this one as soon as we're finished. <laughs> so, that's it for our pinwheel sandwiches. And remember to join us on uh, our Hands On Children's Museum YouTube channel, Hands On To You at Home Videos. And, that's all. So we'll see you again next time. Thanks for joining me.